Big protests in Westtown right now. Those supporting Palestinians are gathering outside of a fundraiser for President Joe Biden. They want to send the president a message. WGN's Dana Rebecca is live in Westtown with the latest on this. Dana? Well, according to the White House travel pool, President Biden's motorcade arrived at Ignite Glass Studios for a campaign reception around 4.15 this afternoon. About an hour prior to that, this group gathered. It's decreased in size quite a bit from when we uh, first uh, arrived here and spoke to you at, at 4 o'clock on the news. But they are still here uh, making their message clear with a large Chicago police presence surrounding them. Biden, you can't hide. Biden, Biden, you can't hide. responsible. He has the power. He's able to shut it down. He's able to stop them. And because he's not, he's complicit. Pro-Palestinian protesters making their message clear just a block from a Westtown fundraising event where President Biden was meeting with donors. It is in fact my Jewish blood and my Jewish soul that compels me to stand up and come here today and tell President Biden that we need a ceasefire now and anything else is immoral. Today we learned Israel has agreed to four hour daily humanitarian pauses in its assault on Hamas in northern Gaza to allow aid to enter and civilians to flee. President Joe Biden urged Israel for a multi day ceasefire in exchange for a release of hostages. But Biden said there was no possibility that would happen right now. Oh, I've been asking for a pause for a lot more than three days. Um, yes. Did you ask him to pause for three days to get the hospitals out? For that yes. I've asked for even a longer pause for some of them. Forget about humanitarian pauses. Forget about, you know, a, a, a few hours of respite. That's not what Palestinians need. Palestinians need this to be over and that Israel stops its occupation it's colonization, it's killing and genocide of the, of the Palestinian people. Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu saying there would be no ceasefire without the release of hostages. National Security Council spokesman John Kirby said the new four hour pauses in military action would be announced three hours in advance. Kirby encouraging the Israelis to minimize civilian casualties. There are still an estimated 239 hostages in Gaza, less than 10 of which are believed to be Americans at this point. We also learned today that Israel is opening a second corridor for civilians to flee. U.S. Secretary of State Antony Blinken has warned Israel that it could be risking the potential possibility for peace if it does not improve humanitarian conditions in Gaza. Live in Westtown, Dana Rebic, WGN News.